Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Okreke. Welcome to CM Videos. This is a YouTube channel where we try to help you create effective computational modeling solutions to whatever computational problem that you're dealing with. Now, let's think about the design of a porous media. I mean, the first thing in this case is that we're going to be looking at a 3D system. Uh, so our represented volume element will be a cubic RV with dimensions of 100 by 100 by 100 micron. We've chosen a uniform porosity size of 30 microns in diameter. Our pores will be spherical in shape. And the void volume fraction, we're looking at something really, you know, um, very low, a void volume fraction of 20% as our porosity for this material. And this is a relationship for calculating the void um, volume fraction of or the void porosity. How do we actually go about creating this randomness that we talked about? The approach that we're going to use is something that is very common, something I've spoken a lot in this channel, and this is the Monte Carlo approach using the random sequential absorption. If you're interested in this, I've put a video here which can help you understand more about this Monte Carlo approach. I'll be using a software and it's called the Monte Carlo Gen 3D version 1.0. So it's implementing this Monte Carlo approach, but it's for a 3D domain, and in this 3D domain, our sphere is the inclusion that we'll be using here. So how do we go about calculating actually the volume of the poles? So the principle here is first we get the volume of the metrics and then we subtract the volume, the cumulative volume of the poles. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to generate this uh, random style distribution of porosities within, you know, within the aluminium metrics. And we're going to use Monte Carlo Gen, which is a software that I've developed to do this. So please check in the description section for the, the, the software. So basically it will come something like this. So there is a computation options file. If you've already seen my video, which I put in the link here, where I talk about Monte Carlo Gen 2D, you already know about the structure of this. So please do check it out. So basically what we have here is you need to specify the X, Y, and Z axis, lengths associated with the system, the diameter of the porosity that you're looking at, the volume fraction specified in decimals, and whether you want periodicity of material to, to show in your case. And this is basically what we have. So once you specified all that, now you need to run the code. So if we right click and run the Monte Carlo gen here, so it will basically run and then it will show us what it's trying to do. It gives us a progress. And then in the end, it populates the domain and we see this is the result of our system that's been generated. So we've got that. Now, the next thing we need to know, be aware of is when you open the file here, there is a, an abacus file, you know, there is a, a Python script that is generated. So we're going to use this Python script for running our model. Okay, so this is a typical Python script that is generated from this. And so what we're going to do with this Python script is we're just going to copy all of it. And then we go into abacus and right at the foot of this, we're going to paste that. So what we're going to basically do is going to create the domain automatically for us and we generate all the structures that we need. So we've got it in this way. First, we go to the assembly section. So within the assembly section here, we already have all the files open that we need, all the materials open. So I'm going to create just the voids alone. Go to the assembly module and then we'll create basically voids only. So let's call this voids only. And then we're going to basically merge them into one system, remove every intersecting boundaries. And then we'll put here and select from spherical one, I press down shift and select the last one. So what this does is that it basically selects the spheres and create one entity called that. Then we'll do the same thing again. Now we're going to call it our voided aluminum. So now we want to create a voided aluminum, but instead of a merge operation, it will be a cut operation. Okay, and we select the instance to cut, which is this system. Okay, and then what instance are we using to cut it is a void only. Okay, so now that gives us the voided system that we are looking for. So if we look inside by switching, let's say, to surfaces, you can see it does clear have porosities inside the bulk um, in the way we expect it to be. So that's first step. So we can go back to parts and then let's go to the top. So the part has been created, which is avoided aluminum. So we can then look at the section assignment. So the section assignment is already there. So what are the properties that we have? Aluminum. So the aluminum properties are there in the elastic. So let's introduce a bit of plasticity to it. So our plasticity will be 250e to power 6 and 0, 0.0. So that's enough for our plasticity for this model. And our mesh, so we can think of our mesh, so it's giving us 3.0, so let's try 7.2. 
and then we'll probably have to use a tetrahedron shape to mesh it and then we'll merge, mesh. If you're interested in generating porous media manually without using a script like I've shown here, this is the video that will help you. And again, if you want to learn a little bit more about present volume element modeling and other kind of advanced material modeling, I've put a playlist here that you may be interested in looking at. Thank you for your interest in this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.